Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In the last video, I have shown you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE and Notepad++ code editor in order to write your HTML code. Now in this video, we will look at the basic structure of HTML code in detail and we will see what every term means in HTML. So we are going to create a new uh, project in Eclipse, which will be static project. And I'm going to name my project as my HTML, or you can uh, name it uh, anything. Click next, and this will be the default uh, folder in which your uh, HTML uh, document can reside, which is web content, and click finish. It's going to create you a project. Now, if you have already opened a project, you will uh, see two projects in your uh, Eclipse Project Explorer. Now, if you want to close your previous project, you just need to select your previous project, right click on it, and you can just close it. Closing just means that uh, this project is closed and it will not be taken into the consideration uh, in Eclipse. But if you want to uh, delete it from this project explorer, what you can do is right click it and just click delete. And it's not going to delete this project from your computer unless you check this checkbox. It's going to delete this project from your project explorer here, right? So now we have our project here. Now in the web content, we are going to uh, create a new HTML5, which we will name it as uh, for example, test.html and click finish. And it's going to create a basic HTML uh, page for us. And Eclipse uh, gives us this default HTML code to us also. Now uh, let's go in detail and let's see what each term means in uh, HTML. So first of all, we will start with the comments. Now, in order to write some comment, you just need to give this angle bracket and then this uh, exclamation mark and then two uh, dash symbols like this or minus symbols and then uh, minus minus and this, this angle bracket. And whatever you write in between, it will be taken as a comment. Now comment are not the part of the code but they help us to read the code in a better way. So they help us in uh, code readability, right? Now, what are these things? So first of all, there are three terms you need to understand in HTML. First is called a tag. And a tag is just these two angle brackets. And you can see here, every uh, element in HTML has this angle bracket, right? So this and this. Now, whatever you write in this angle bracket is called tag name, okay? So this is a tag name. And generally, we have starting tag and closing tag. So tag name and this is called a starting tag and this is called a closing tag. And the, the difference between starting tag and closing tag is this forward slash. So whenever you add this forward slash in a tag, it's a ending tag. Otherwise, it's a starting tag. And there is one more term which we call element. So starting tag and ending tag and whatever you write in between, for example, some content inside the tag, it's called the element. So a uh, element has starting tag, some content and a closing tag, right? Now there is one more term which is called attribute. Now an attribute is something which you can add to the starting tag for example, some ID, and then you give the description of this attribute, for example, description, okay? So this is called the attribute, 
okay so we have understood what is a tag what is an element and what is an attribute now let's get started with our code okay so in here first line you can see here is called a doc type and uh, in uh, detail it's called a document type and this helps uh, the browsers to uh, recognize that it's a HTML page right so this is just like a preamble for an HTML uh, page so first of all you need to add this doc type in every HTML page as a first line of every HTML file okay now I'm going to delete everything and let's write it uh, everything once again so first thing is the document type and document type start with this symbol and then just write doc type and then write HTML okay HTML is a non case sensitive language so it doesn't matter if you write this uh, word in uh, capital or mixed letters or small letters it will interpret as same right so you can write it like this or you can write it like HTML it will be the same right now every HTML code start with these HTML tags okay and this tells uh, the browser when it interprets it that this is the starting of your HTML code and this is the ending of your HTML code and in between whatever you write will be the content of your HTML now in a HTML document we have two main tags or main categories one is called a head and other is called the body so a head is something like this and in the head you can add the title of your uh, HTML page and some metadata which you don't want to show but it's a part of your HTML page right now just below this head comes the body tag right and in this body whatever you uh, will write it will be the content of your web page so it will be shown for example you want to add a paragraph heading or tables it will be uh, enclosed in the body now the main tag or main element inside the head uh, you can write is a title for your HTML document so just write title and whatever you write here will become the title so you can say my title okay and you can save this and you can just uh, run your HTML page by right clicking on it and you can uh, just open with the web browser okay and you can uh, see right now you don't see anything but here on the top you can see my title and this my title is due to this text okay or you can just change it my HTML save it and when you refresh it from here it becomes my HTML here right so this will become the title of your HTML web page now you can open this HTML page uh, from your web browser also which is not the native Eclipse but for example Firefox or uh, Chrome browser you want to open your HTML what you can do is you can just go to the location where your project is and uh, most probably it will be in your computer name then uh, workspace then your project name in my case my project name is my HTML then go to web content folder and here I can see this test.html you can just right click on it and then open with Firefox okay and it's going to open it like this and you can see the title is my HTML right now inside the body whatever you write it will become the body or it will be shown here right so for example there is a tag called paragraph and you can add it like this and inside this whatever you write it will be considered as a paragraph so for example save it 
and refresh your web page and then you will see this paragraph in the body of your web browser right now there is one more uh, popular tag which you can use here is the heading tag and there are uh, different type of headings but for now let's uh, add a h1 tag here and you can say heading okay and refresh your web page and it will become your heading right now there are uh, two uh, more uh, main thing which can be used in uh, an html document one is the language you want to use in the html document and this is an attribute you can add to your html tag so for example you can add this tag in the starting of your html tag and this attribute is called lang okay and then you can add different languages to your html uh, tag attribute for example most commonly used is english but there are many uh, languages which are supported here and this you can uh, see when you google for list of iso 639 minus 1 codes and here you can see uh, each and every code of uh, every language which you can use here now second important thing here is a uh, metadata tag called meta okay and here you can add an attribute called care set and most uh, generally we use utf8 but uh, you can use other type of uh, character set encoding also but this is uh, the most widely used uh, character set in html okay now you will notice here that this meta tag only have starting tag it doesn't have a ending tag so it's not uh, necessary to have in all cases the ending tag some tags are uh, okay with the starting tag also and with an attribute also so what we have learned today what are tags what are elements what are uh, attributes and basic structure of html documents so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video